Welcome. A biomass supply chain has its own unique characteristics and challenges. But how do we ensure that the biomass supply chain is actually sustainable? To answer this question, we can use decision support tools and existing quantitative methods to evaluate the performance of alternative logistical designs. Such assessments should take into account relevant economic, environmental and social indicators. Supply chain management and logistics can play a crucial role for ensuring all three sustainability dimensions of biomass supply chains. This starts already when deciding on the type of biomass that involves supply chain actors and the available conversion technologies. Then it continues with specific questions related to transport, handling, warehousing, storage and pretreatment procedures. Sustainability innovations such as the establishment of modern bioenergy systems and small-scale biorefineries are often exclusively related to the development, diffusion and use of novel technologies. But it is very important to consider organizational and social aspects as well when aiming for an overall sustainable development. L literature suggests that there is a tight interco interconnectedness I'm sorry, of actors in biomass supply chains. This implies that improving sustainability of biomass supply systems requires supply chain-wide coordination and collaboration. This interdependency expands beyond the sphere of the economic actors involved in the supply chains to other relevant stakeholders such as regulatory authorities, local communities and the public in general. These stakeholders will evaluate bio-based production systems according to social impacts like noise, visual appearance, food security or working conditions of employees. To design sustainable biomass supply chains, the interests of all these stakeholders must be taken into account explicitly. <coughs> Mathematical models commonly used in operational research literature are useful tools for optimizing and simulating important processes throughout the supply chain. These models can be used to calculate trade-offs between different indicators and eliminate current inefficiencies. Here you see an example of a trade-off curve. In this case the trade-off for a certain supply chain is between the economic performance and the environmental performance. The curve indicates all the efficient solutions that are feasible from a technical point of view. This means that solutions with a better combination of economic and environmental performance do not actually exist. If the current performance of the chain is not on this curve, it means that there is room for improvement. For example, CO2 emissions can be reduced without compromising the economic performance. Or the other way around, costs can be reduced without increasing pollution. Apart from these two options, there might be a lot of other interesting efficient solutions in between. Obviously, all of these options improve the current performance of the supply chain. In case there are multiple indicators, which is usually the case in practice, mathematical models must be developed to calculate a multidimensional trade-off. Frontier analysis and benchmarking techniques like data envelopment analysis, but also multi-objective optimization and simulation have been used for this purpose. This type of analysis can contribute to identify conditions in which certain logistic configurations result in sustainable designs of the biomass supply chain. A whole system approach is required to include interactions between different links of the chain. To summarize, ensuring and quantifying the sustainability of a biomass supply chain can be a challenge. However, quantitative methods and operations research techniques can provide the means to support managerial decision making. Thank you very much for watching.